what's up y'all you already know it is time for another secret letter but first i am so honored to be joined by the creator of Ministry and the queen of relationship talk miss chanel scott how you doing boo? hey girl hey are you ready for this I'm, week's secret letter? I'm ready. All right, because we're going to jump right into it, all right? Yes. Listen, hi, Chris. I am in my late 30s, and I know exactly what I want, like, when it comes to the outward appearance of my man. Things such as the height requirement, weight, teeth, even the age of their children. I prefer that they be at least six inches tall, taller than me, and for them to be physically fit and able to lift me when need be. Have clean, neat hair if it is long, a beard that connects if that applies. Please have all your teeth because I have every one of mine. Or veneers if needed. He needs to be well endowed and be very pleasing to my eye because I get bored sometimes and I need him to be able to keep and hold my attention. Now, oh, yes, right. Now, if with all that he comes with children, I prefer they be at least the age of 16 because I do not do drama from the other parent. Chris, I don't think wanting eight out of eight of these is being picky at all because I have settled before for a five out of the eight and I'm tired of settling. I feel like I keep compromising on my list, then I will eventually always leave them for someone who does who does who does fit all these qualifications. Some people might say I'm picky, maybe even shallow, but I just think I'm particular. I have a type and I know what I like. Let's face it, I'm almost 40 and I want my first marriage to be my last. How many more frogs must I kiss before I find my prince? Am I petty for being picky? Well, yes. And this was a long ass letter. Okay? Now. Yes. <laughs> I'm right? Still, look, I stopped reading that she wanted a man with a beard that connects. Right. That, that is specific. Wow. Right? And not one quality even outlined anything of internal substance. Right. No morals. No, <laughs> if he believes in God, if he got a job. job. <laughs> <laughs> right. But kudos. Shout out to you, babe. Shout out to you for even having a list. It's important for us not to settle. But yes, you already know you being shallow and superficial. Okay. It, these things are okay, but they shouldn't be at the top of your list. What about how he treats her? Right. She hadn't even mentioned how he treats Nothing. her. Nothing. You feel me? Right. <laughs> so, he can lay pipe. Right. All right. He got all his teeth. Well, first of all, let's pause there. How do we even get to the point where he's laying pipe? Like, we would have to have encountered some of those internal qualities. Right. Or right. she don't put it up on the same night. Right. Like, it's it's coming. It's, she She... If he look good, then he get he get it. <laughs> I mean, and and I would and listen, I would expect this from a female that is in her early to mid twenties, right? Because right. I mean that's that's what we all think yeah, about at that age. Yeah. But as you're getting older, bitch, you said you damn near forty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. We need to be looking at more things than that. Attraction is important. Attraction is very important, and you can get all of these, but that's not the starting point. Right. Those are the bonuses. Right. Because we need to know what his character is like. Right. We, not, we need to know if he can take care of his children if he has them. Right, because it sounds like you got a fine-ass dummy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did he go to college? Did he graduate high school? What can he do for you other than please your eye and your your sexual region? Right? Right. Right, absolutely. And that brings us to you raised a question. How to prepare for um, a purposeful relationship. Right. Because the thing about it is, you can go after all these qualities, but your motivation isn't in the right place. Mm -hmm. So you're going to always attract the wrong person because you're going to be looking externally and you're going to overlook the internal mm -hmm. piece, right? And then he's going to be a jerk. And then you're going to have to move on to the next one and to the next one. So first, we need to start with ourselves right you know and we need to make sure we align with what we're first right because we're gonna for. attract who we are exactly you know what i'm saying so if we are superficial or mm -hmm. if we are just 
not what we're expecting in our partners, Absolutely. then nothing. It's not. It's never going to be a successful. It's never going to be successful. But the thing about it is, you can have these things, but your motivation has to be in the right place. Mm-hmm. First of all, maybe you want to connect with someone who has a common purpose or common goals, right? And then you can get to engage them on a more uh, intimate level and kind of find out. Okay, does this person have a relationship with God? Do they love their do they do they have a relationship with their family? Uh-huh. Um are do the if they have children, are they taking care right. of their How children? How do they treat them? How do like, their how, children right. treat them? Absolutely. Right. And if this is someone who even aligns with your long term plan for your own life, because they can have all of these external qualities and still not be the right one for you. Right. And I listen, I'm gonna just veer off because I think attraction, yeah, attraction is important, but it's not as important to me as all those other qualities. Well, see, this is the thing when you talk about attraction, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, right? right? So, what she may find attractive may not necessarily be attractive to the next person, so don't focus too much on that when you say that. Well, I think because he could be ugly, right? But I think if you get to know someone mm-hmm. and you just you you accept all their flaws and their quirkiness and you you, you know what I'm saying? You get to know the real them. Right. Then they become attractive. So what you thought um, previously, what not to be attractive, then mm-hmm. what if they didn't have no beard to go all the way down? What if they just had a mustache? You know what I'm saying? Well, like, like to her credit, so initially when we connect with someone, especially if we're connecting based off of a physical attraction, I think what you may be referencing is when we meet someone in the, in the context of maybe purpose or something that we may be doing together, maybe a colleague, right? right? So you're not necessarily focusing on the physical right. attraction, I see what you're saying. but I you're see what you're engaging saying. them on a, on another level. Mm-hmm. But when you're just meeting someone out and about, all we have is the attraction, you know? So I can, I get that. Yeah. I, okay. You're not going to She give. broke it down for me. Now <laughs> I understand. You see what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I am yes. delivered. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, bitch. <laughs> okay, yes. I like that. Thank you. You're welcome. Listen, I want to do a poll. Do you have a list? Yes or no? And if you do have a list, please comment below on what your list entails. I would love to find out, okay? What's at the top? What's at the bottom? All right? I want to thank you. I want to thank you for joining us. Now, you guys may have uh, may not know this, but Chanel has an event coming up. Like I said, she's the queen of relationship talk. So she has a relationship event, a ministry coming up where you will be talking about. Um, we'll, we'll actually be talking about from the mind of a man is the series topic. It's a five uh, series that we're going to have, five season series that mm-hmm. we're going to have. And it's going to be dealing with, from the mind of a man, healing a toxic relationship. Yes. And then we break it down, a different topic for each series that we have. Now, and, go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry. I love hearing from a male's perspective. Mm-hmm. Because as women, we always want to know what they're thinking, what they're feeling, you know, how they see this, how they see that. And I think it's important that we... You know, we come to grasp on how they see things and mm-hmm. hearing it from a male's Absolutely. perspective. Um, I think the the focal point is the male perspective, but you can't have a healthy relationship unless you have a man and a woman. Right. But the right. But what the reason that I t- entitled it from the mind of a man because we really want to understand the male perspective. I mean, we get the women's perspective all the time with our girlfriends mm-hmm. and people that we talk to, but rarely do we get the male perspective. Listen. And so I really want to focus on the male perspective on that. And that's June 27th. Yes. It's a virtual event. Um, you can find it all about it on social media. I can't not wait. Listen, if you guys have a secret letter you would like to share and start a conversation, please contact me at contact at Chris King.com. Listen, Check out Ka Ministry and Miss Chanel Scott at all her social media outlets. All right, for more information on this upcoming event, please believe I will be in attendance. All right, now that is all we have for this week. I hope to see you guys next week. Cheers. <laughs>